Probably the easiest way to Dream Booth fine tune your SD XL 1.0 model to include your custom images using Auto Train is what this video is going to teach you. We're going to use Abhishek Thakur's or Hugging Faces Auto Train library that is going to help you fine tune Dream Booth or use Stable Diffusion SD XL 1.0 with custom images in just a few clicks and all you can do it in free version of Google Collab. To start with, we need to have the Google Collab notebook that I'll link it in the YouTube description. Then you need to create a folder called images and upload the pictures that you want. Make sure that the pictures that you upload have like different attributes. And if you want the dream booth to capture the face, make sure that you have got different kinds of faces, not like a full picture. After you do that, then you have to go change the project name and you also have to have a prompt. The prompt should describe a keyword that is probably not in the dictionary and it should also describe the attribute of the pictures that you are trying to fine tune. For example, if it is a person, then keep it a person there. If it is a dog, if it is a pet, whatever that is, just keep it there. Then after you do that, you can make a choice whether you want to push the model into Hugging Face Model Hub or not. But other than that, it's quite straightforward. All you have to do is click all, either you can click all or run cell by cell just like how I'm doing and it is going to start the process. It's going to start with installing all the required libraries then it is going to start with downloading the models and all these things. This entire thing is possible because of auto train. So auto train is doing the heavy lifting for you to do the entire dream booth fine tuning with, uh, with auto train, just like in a couple of clicks. As you can see, it is installing all the required libraries like transformers, PEFT, diffusers, TRL and other libraries. This is all auto, auto train requirements. And after you do that, you can see the project configuration and also you again get a chance to select whether you want to push the model to model hub, hugging face model hub after you do that. And once that is set, then all you have to do is click run and that is going to just start running the process. It's going to download the model that is required for fine tuning. You can see the RAM process, the system RAM and the GPU RAM. And after it downloads the model, then it will start the fine tuning process or the D dream booth training process, which is to use the custom images that you have good given along with the stable diffusion SD XL 1.0 model. As you can see at this point, all the downloads are completed and the model training or the dream booth training process has started. And you can see the configuration and all the details here because it's logging it. And the time it shows is approximately one hour 45 minutes. And I'm on the free version of Google Collab, which is like a T4 machine with a 16 GB GPU RAM. If you have got more powerful machine, it might take lesser time. If you've got lesser powerful machine, it might take more time. Just remember that in my that in your mind that the time that it is going to take is going to be based on the number of steps, the learning rate and also the GPU memory that you have got. So we are doing 500 steps and you can see like quite a fixed learning rate we have got and you can see how the losses are fluctuating so that, you know, if you finally don't get a good result, you can always go back and then play with these parameters to see how you can optimize it at the end of one hour, 45 minutes or approximately close to two hours. We are going to have a mod model file stored in the project folder. So the process is almost going to end. As you can see, we are at the 99th percent in the number of steps. And once the process is finished, you can see that the model or the collab notebook will try to notify you to save the model. And once the model is saved that like if you're doing something else also, you can see that the model gets saved in that particular folder. So if you have already, you know, uh, mounted your Google Drive, you can save that in the Google Drive. But right now this code lets you save it in that particular folder that you gave. So PyTorch LoRa weights, which is a safe tensor file, not a CKPT file is saved there. You can download the file. I would strongly encourage you to download it because you never know if the Google collab session collapses, then it's, it's safe to be there. After you do that below the same thing, the same Google collab notebook, you have got the code to run the inference, which means use the model that you have trained or the dream booth LoRa weights and do the new generation of photos based on whatever you train on Dream Booth. One thing that you need to keep in mind is that if your memory is already full, it's always good practice to restart the entire Google Collab Notebook. At least in my experience, uh, the same instance, during the same instance, I could not run both the base model of Stable Diffusion SDXL 1.0 and the Refiner model. So I had to, I had to stop it, like create a new session and then upload the project, um, the PyTorch weights and then do it only with the base model, not the refiner model. So if you know SD Excel 1.0 stable diffusion has got like a two layered setup. So you've got a base model and you have got a refiner model. So I could use only the base model 
and the Py PyTorch LoRa waits because of the limited memory that I've got. So depending upon the kind of machine that you have got, you need to make a call. If you have got like enough memory, just go ahead in the Google Colab notebook, just literally run everything. If you have got like a limited memory, then comment the refiner section and then just use the base model and then try to create the picture with that. So when you have to use the object that you are going to use to create the picture, you need to know what is the keyword that you used. In our case, it was SKS. So you have to go to the prompt and then give whatever the prompt is. Then make sure that you give that SKS or whatever that code word is and then, you know, elaborate the prompt. Like in my case, I'm just doing a, like a terrible job of giving a prompt because this is just a demo. So I want that person with sunglasses, but uh, in, in uh, synthwave theme and uh, the set the seed value and then use the generator and then generate the, uh, the image. And uh, once you have the image generated, you can save it if you want to save it. And that's it. Uh, so it's going to take like a couple of seconds. And after that, you are going to have the image generated. Our image is currently generated. This is not necessarily synthwave theme, I would say, but still it is good that it has captured the pic person really well. And we have got the sunglasses and we have got like that pinkish synthwave -ish theme. And I think like this has done a good job. Like I didn't play with a lot of parameters. Like I could have played with a lot of parameters. I didn't do anything at all. All I had to do is go to Abhishek Thakur's auto train Google Colab notebook, just created the folder, uploaded the images and everything else is run all. And then finally I got my fine tuned dream booth model weights, like the PyTorch weights. And I had to just re-upload it on a different instance and then start doing inference. I think this is one of the easiest ways you could do dream booth fine tuning or a stable diffusion SDXL 1.0 fine tuning for the custom images that you want to do it. And in my case, I can show you a couple of more pictures about how this has done a tremendous job in capturing the subject. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section. Otherwise, I'll give you all the links in the YouTube description. Take care.